Hey guys, it's kinda late here, but I haven't really made as many videos as I wanted to. Not lately, but uh, a little while back. So I figured I'd just show you guys what I've been doing on the RDF server. Uh, this is not that complicated, it's just for fun because I got bored. It's a combination lock. Uh, it's uh, nine digits. Currently, you only put in four. But I, you can extend it to as many as you want or as little. So the combination is nine, one, two, five. And these doors should open. And you know, it's just a little area. I got the torch for light. And you can hit that button to reset it. And head out. Basically, what it does is this big mess here just separates all these inputs to one line and they go out to note blocks and I found that if I put the note blocks above it note blocks are really weird so that it powered the other note blocks next to it but I wanted to have multiple sounds so what I did is I put blocks above the torches and that the blocks the no blocks get powered by the blocks which let individual notes get played and then you got over here and this basically de uh, encodes the decimal to binary and the binary is stored in these uh, update D flip flops which have which kind of like RAM has built in counter it's pretty fun uh, so Tor here, I don't really just kind of met him and showed him this kind of fun. So yeah, lots of fun stuff here on the RDF. I can show you that this thing is not. You, you see most combination locks, they are spammable. You can just spam them. Let me even see if that's saved. Yeah, you gotta kind of type them in a little bit slowly because the counter is not that good to be honest. I guess I could improve it. Yes, I don't think I can. This is just V1, just messing around. That's pretty much it, you know. Tell you guys what you think. If you guys want more up on this, go ahead and comment about it.